Good morning. Hello. It's Marky here to torture you a little bit in the morning. Actually, some people might like my poetry. My poetry is called prose. It's more of a storytelling and it rhymes a little here and there. I don't know. It's just what I do. Uh, I'm not one of those poets who uh, writes all that cryptic stuff that I can't even begin to understand, but I know it's beautiful. I can't do that. I can only do what I do, and some people like what I do. You know, some of my poetry is uh, funny. Some is serious. There's always the moon in it. <laughs> That's the biggest inspiration is the moon. Everybody just loves to write po poems about the moon. What if we didn't have that moon, huh? There'd be no poetry. Anyway, I'm going to jump into my poem today because it is a little bit of a long one. And it's a fun one. It's called, I was born in a Spanish nation. Here goes. I was born in a Spanish nation, Argentina to be more precise. So you can imagine I enjoy Spanish foods quite a lot. Like milanesa and empanadas with chimichurri sauce. Yes, lots of meat, lots of meat called carne asada on the parrilla, especially sausages. Once again with chimichurri sauce. But I'm a Hebrew and I also love my lox and cream cheese on a toasted bagel, schnitzel and Veronica's with cabbage soup, also with some goodies on the side like coconut cookies and a loaf of challah bread makes a good for a fine day. And if you serve me chicken matzo ball, I will surely love you. But I was raised in the USA with hot dogs and hamburgers and fries and a Coke on the side while watching a football game on the telly. But what I really want is to be a Native American Native Indian. But I do not know much about their foods except they have delicious tortillas made out of corn. Kind of makes you fat, but I could be wrong. Lately, my faith has shifted from Buddhism to, from Judaism to Buddhist. And now I meditate, but my philosophy is the thoughts of Alan Watts and Eckhart Tolle of lately. I have been craving their foods. One is English and the other German. How curious is that? Sometimes I desire for French food. It comes over me like an obsession. Maybe some escargot with fish and their tarragon herbs on white plates with white wine on the side. Perhaps a Chardonnay, if you do not mind or any other wine made near the Rhine. This is how they dine in Paris, oh so dashing and so nice. No sooner did I eat that, I became enthralled with Indian food, with turmeric and curry. What am I going to do, Mr. Krishmaturi? Sid Guru, the spiritual leader, would know. Well, I'm going to eat a bit of herring and get back to my roots. Maybe I will stop at an Israeli restaurant and have some baba ganoush and lamb skewered, hummus and falafel with some borscht. And I listen to all the customers argue. With pita bread, pita bread, I just love, it makes my mouth totally water. But wait, there's an Italian restaurant on the way. I will stop there and get some lasagna and eggplant parmesan and a taste of stragalia soup. I will just freeze it for another day. Did I forget to mention Mexican food with tortillas and tacos and enchilada and chili rellenos? I'm loving it. All that cheese is simply scrumptious. I think I'm hungry and I will eat it all. No, I have made up my mind. It's Thai coconut soup. Yes, that's it. And the next day I will have some Chinese. It's all in my freezer, all frozen. It will be Jamaican jerk chicken, but I might change my mind and have some English fish and chips, and dine with a pint of lager for good measure. I hope it's all catered. My wife is honking the horn. It turns out we're going to a Greek food, domas and yellow rice and maybe a cherry Coke, tarama salada and caviar with spinocchia and cheese pie. 
You know, it's all so delicious. Damn it, I told her I wanted Chinese today. So it must be egg flour soup with Kung Pao chicken in that special way they make their eggplant. You can't beat it anywhere. Why do we have to fight about these things? Anyway, you look at it. She is a vegetarian. Did I leave out? Oh, yes, the Polish. But they their food is similar to the Russian cabbage soup that I forgot to mention. I will have to ask someone about that. What is that you said? That there's a new sushi bar in town? Well, with fresh yellow tail, white fish and salmon, not to mention the sashimi and tuna, and its own caviar all served with seaweed and rice? It's expensive, but who cares? You only live once, right? Crab, California too. Well, why didn't you say so? I'm game for that too. With a bit of sake wine, if you do not mind. I'm sure I left out a few countries, and that is what makes it challenging. Always new horizons for my belly that is somehow always interested. <laughs> uh, I like this poem. I don't. I very seldom say that. It kind of warms my heart. Please reshare on any social network. Be cool.